God's laws. This book right here is the commandment of God. So if God said women trust bodies, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, the way they talk to a woman, they can disrespect her. But the thing is, if she's dressed modest, they look at her different. Like, oh, dang, I don't know. That, that sister look different. But you get these sisters that dress half-dressed, how they gonna get treated? How they gonna get treated? Can we read it again? My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. So our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. All right, I want y'all to understand that they just, they finna pass a new law, right? The purge law, where you commit, you can commit certain crimes and not even go to jail for. They'll, you'll be released on that same day. So that means a city that's already full of havoc and chaos is gonna be full of even more chaos because now they commit crimes and not even go to jail for. So we out here to try to teach our people who they are according to the Bible, God is going to be the only one that's going to protect you during this time of this purge. That's, that's right. right. That's what our people need to realize. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity. So trust and believe that when that law passes on January 1st, it's going to be that bread of adversity. Our people are going to go through it. Our neighborhoods are going to be wreaked with havoc. Come on. And the water of affliction. Yet shall not the teachers be removed into a corner anymore. So that's why we out here. Because y'all ain't gonna hear this in no church. Y'all are not gonna hear that y'all the greatest people ever. Y'all are not gonna hear that you have to repent and come back to God's laws in order to be saved. The Christian church will tell you that all you gotta do is call on the name of Jesus and you're saved. Right. They've been teaching us lies all our life. And we have to realize these things. Read that part again. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore? So right now, men like myself in purple and gold are all around this country bringing out this truth. That's right. Bringing out this truth of who you are according to the Bible. Real. But thy eyes shall see thy teachers, and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. When ye turn to the right hand, and when ye turn to the left. Hey, bro, did you hear that? This is the way. This Bible is the way you should walk in it. That's right. The Christian church, church ain't teach you to walk in the way of God, right? They say, uh, what would Jesus do? Or you want to be Christ-like? Well, to be Christ-like, you have to do what Christ said. Read it again. And though the Lord give you bread of adversity. Have our people been full of uh, bread of adversity here in Chicago? We at the bottom of society. We in the projects. We in the ghettos. We get that bread of adversity. Come on. And the water of affliction. That water of affliction. That's what the white man doing to us every day. But we think our own people is our enemies. Hey, how you doing, sis? How you doing, bro? Y'all together? Y'all married? Yes. All praise. Y'all know y'all Israel? Yes. How long you been doing that? Almost two years. Almost two years? What about you, bro? Not you? She been telling you about it though? I have to live with it every day. Oh, you live with it every day? Yeah. All right, get that in the... Uh, oh, okay. Y'all, y'all, say that again. Between my son and her. Who's your son? You gotta go, go. You ain't going to go. Okay. Yeah, I got to go. Okay. But, uh, you watch y'all all day. Just the greatest Okay, I'll praise you. If we know we Israel, there's already been stipulations made to us by our father. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, to keep his commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. You hear that? He said, keeping his laws is for thy good. Like the officer was just dealing with a sister. She was up here in a sweatsuit. You know, we going over in modest apparel. Because our sister should be dressed modestly, right? Let's get there real quick. Because, like you said, this your wife, right? What would stop a lot of violence in our neighborhood if our women was dressed modest?
how would that stop? How if she was dressed modestly? How would that stop violence in our neighborhood? I'm not too sure. With, with the youth come a little closer. Come a little closer. With the youth we have today, I'm not sure modesty is stopping. Uh, I'm, 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 let me read this real quick. Maybe, maybe, maybe teach some of the females more about I mean, this society has a major influence on women. Read this real quick. It's the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also, that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shame face and sobriety, not with broided hair, or gold, or pearls, or costly array, but which becoming women professing godliness with good works. All right, so... Our women, we're not saying that our women can't beautify themselves because uh, God is the author of beauty, right? And he made our women beautiful. But read this again. Read from the top. In like manner also that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. All right, in modest apparel. So that's going into her covering up. The reason I said it would change violence and stop violence, you got a, say you got a woman walking down the street and she has some leggings on showing her whole body. And a man smacks on her butt. Now, what you got to do? Uh, well, this is the thing with that. Now, first of all, we you would think that the person that done this, he would have done this and she had a skirt down to her foot. He because can't see her. He, he, he can't see her body. She's just mine. But he disrespectful, period. Now, see, now, disrespect don't just come with me with my hands on her. I can be disrespectful to her when I speak to her. And the minute I speak to her, she don't speak back. Now, she every time in the book. See, I believe in the giving the validity where it belongs. The thing is, is us as men, we, a lot of us have, have men have a lot of children, right? Four, and men have children and they have boy children. And they keep, they learn nothing from them. My sons are like some of the most respectful sons you're going to ever see. I, I get what you're I saying. I leave my wife I get what you're saying. Children. But look at the generation today. That's what I mean. When Christ you, say the generation today is like children. Yeah, so a, a kid, if he sees something he like, mm -hmm. nine times out of ten, he gonna go try to take it. Right. That's why when the Bible says dress modestly, she won't be showing her shape. So he can't look at that and be like, oh, I want that. That's the difference. You say a mind state, read this. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge I will also reject thee, that thou shalt no priest be to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Hey, you hear that, Tim? Say what? All right, I, the, the, our people here in America speak English. Our people speak English. What you just said, can't nobody understand that. So what you edifying? How you edifying anybody? How you edifying anybody if don't nobody know what you're saying? See what I'm saying? Read that again. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. They want to run up and just start jibber jabbing anything out their mouth like somebody understand what they're talking about and they look like they deep. Read it again. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Whenever they see black men that look like them out here trying to change our community, they want to ride up like they know something. Just stay in your lane and keep driving. That's all you got to do. Keep reading. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will the knowledge that our people reject is God's laws. This book right here is the commandment of God. So if God said women trust modesty, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, the way they talk to a woman, they can disrespect her. But the thing is, if she's dressed modest, they look at her different like, oh, dang, I don't know. That sister to look different. But you get these sisters that dress half-dressed, how they going to get treated? How they going to get treated? Can we read it again? My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. So our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Bruh, don't even waste your time over there. Here in the car, in the turn lane, let them turn. All right, read. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. So we didn't forget God's law. Because one of his laws is that a man shouldn't dress in the apparel of a woman, and a woman shouldn't dress 
in uh, the attire of a man, right? So, when, when women were dressing in dresses and skirts many, many years ago, right? What did they What did they have on under those things? They, they have some on under them. It's called pantyhose. I mean, look, right here, right here, right? This is slavery, right? When they brought us over here from in Africa, from Africa, right, and put us in slavery, what was our women dressing in? In the cotton fields. In the cotton fields, they dressed in skirts. That's what we wore. That's what we wore. You watch all them old westerns, all them old shows. People, women wore dresses and skirts because that's what the attire of a woman was. Right. And then when it got cold, they put pantyhose on. That's right. Now those pantyhose have become leggings. And now they wear them as pants. You know, Christ said, uh, my sheep hear my voice. Mm -hmm. And they that's, follow that, me. That's exactly and they follow I mean. me, right? So, that's so, exactly so I mean. if you if you are his sheep, shouldn't you listen to what he said? Jesus, look. You need just put a dress on over it or a skirt. Listen, I, I don't believe Jesus made me. I'm sorry, but this is the one thing I cannot agree with. It's just a personal thing. Jesus yeah. didn't make me a sheep, he made me a wolf. Alright, here's what here, check this out real quick. What's your name again? Ron. Ron, I'm Maccabees. Yeah, I'm we Maccabees, alright? We didn't make me a sheep. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 17. But if thy heart turn away, so that thou wilt not hear, but shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them, I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish, and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land. 19. Verse 19. I call heaven and earth, I record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live. You understand that? Yeah, he gave us a choice, right? Yeah. We, life we, we, or death. Mm -hmm. Read it again. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. So, heaven and earth has been called to record this day. Come on. That I have set before you life and death. Life is the laws. Because that's what's going to make you live. While you keeping God's laws, you're going to live. And I'm going to show you that too. Read. Blessing and cursing. Blessings and curses. We was blessed during the time of King David, right? Mm -hmm. King Solomon. Mm -hmm. Are we are we blessed today, right now? Can't do. This got to be a curse. This is the curses, right? Therefore, choose life. Choose life. Choose life, Ron. Choosing life is not going up against the Bible. Can I, right. man, I'm going to say this. God had every opportunity to take my life from me on more occasions than I can take. Okay? I didn't grow up in the suburbs. Listen, at one point, I was in the institution. If it was up to them, forever. You're uh, looking at me today, right? All right. I'm going to say the same thing to you. He had several opportunities to take me, too. Mm -hmm. But he kept me for a reason. And like, you see what I'm doing right now? I believe he kept me. Give me life. Uh, what's that? Uh, yeah, give me that. Because, bro, you, what you got to realize this is that we're a special people to God, right? Mm -hmm. So so when we go through trials in life, it's for a reason. I believe that. You know what I'm saying? Do you believe that you was here before? Yeah, regeneration. So, so if you was here before, the spirit you have now is the same spirit you have then. The Most High God gives us opportunity to get right with Him. If we don't get right with Him, it's death. It ain't gotta be yesterday. It ain't gotta be through all that stuff that you thought you did and you lived through and you made it now. You can cross the street and hit by a car. But that's true. So, so the thing is, if you choose in life by keeping this law, statutes, commandments, you know what's gonna happen if you die right now? You are gonna live again. I guess I'm. That's that's the good thing about this truth, bro. That's the good thing about this truth. Hold up, listen to this real quick. Read. This is the book of Baruch, chapter four, verse one. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endure forever. So the laws endure forever. Come on. All they that keep it shall come to life. All them that keep God's commandments shall come to life. I, I want you to understand that part. Come on. But such as leave it shall die. Such as leave it shall die. I'm going to show you how they're going to die. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 16. 
The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. You hear that? The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding. Read it again. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Of the dead. That means you're going to remain spiritually dead. Right. Do you want, like I said, if you die now in this world and Christ come and you was keeping his laws, you're going to be raised again. That's right. And, and when you. Now, this is the thing. Now, okay, now, I, 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 just give her two minutes. Two minutes of time. Chapter 3, verse 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. So we all, all of us up there, like you said, you wasn't raised this way. I was raised in the Baptist church, but I wasn't raised this way, keeping God's laws. You know, so we was all, all on the streets ourselves. We live that life. I read it again. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. You got a lot of us that gang bang, sold drugs, prostituted women. We was foolish. Disobedient. We was disobedient. Disobedient to our parents. They just don't go hang out with that gang. But that was where we got our love from. That's where we got our protection from. So we hung out with the gang. Come on. Deceived. We was deceived by the gang leaders. Say, man, we love you. And then you go do some work for them and you go, you get locked up. And do they help you? No, who help you? Your family helped you. So we was deceived by the gangs. Come on. Serving diverse lust. Diverse lust is all those pleasures that we see. Fancy cars, big rims, sound system, girl with their big booties hanging out. Those diverse lust things that we was after. Come on. And pleasures. Living in malice and envy. Living in malice and envy. Hatred of others. Oh man, he got that. I'm gonna go get him. Bring it out. Soon as he turned his lights off in his house, I'm in there. I'm taking everything he got. Right. That was that malice and that envy. Come on. Hateful. Hateful. Man, them brothers over there making too much money, man. We're gonna go shut it down. Please. What DMX say? Shut them down, open up, uh, shut the black down, they open up shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he said. Hey. That's that hateful. That's that hatred. Come on. And hated one another. We hated one another. We was taught to hate one another. If you ever heard anything about the Willie Lynch letter, mm -hmm. he put dark skin against light skin. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's still happening to this day. <laughs> to this day. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 